Hello there, my Cancers. Welcome back to my reading. This is Dancing Star Fiddy, tuning in with you on the third week of September to do your tarot reading. Let's get to it. Sorry if the shuffling is loud. I'm still on vacation, so I'm doing my best to do your readings for you while I'm on vacation. Cancers, the Cancer is tuning in with me. Cancer, we have you walked away from a certain situation, feeling fresh in your energy with the full. The full is about freshness, it's about new beginnings. After having walked away, maybe you're feeling very fresh, but you're still healing with the star over here. You're still halfway there. Maybe you haven't gone over it completely. And we still have a person looking at you very scared of your healing abilities over here. I guess there is someone who wants to get back to you, my empress. There is someone who's trying their best to get back to you, to get back, come back to you, not get back at you, like come back to your energy. They moved from the nine to the ten of wands, but you're being the empress. You have a decision to be made here with the lover's card and the upright. And the judgment. At the bottom of the deck we have the hermit. So that's what I mean. You have someone looking at you holding the light. And they're looking at you. They're looking at your healing. They're looking at how you're healing. And they're not very happy with it to be honest. It seems like they are in the nine of wands energy. And they are also in the ten of wands energy. So they're looking at your creativity and they're not understanding how you are able to move forward this much. How much you are able to move away from them this quickly. <clears throat> Especially with the fool in the upright. This indicates that you are able to shine your light. You're able to focus on, on at least at least on the skies above. And you're not looking at them. We have both the star and the fool giving their back to that person who's sneaking in. So it seems like you've walked away from this person with the eight of cups here. You've moved away. You try to look for, at yourself. You try to look more at who you really are, what you're able to achieve. And it seems like you have a guide. You have... You have the moon as your guide. You know, maybe at night time you're waking up at night and you're trying to do different, different skills. You're trying to, to, to impress your guides also. That's what I'm feeling. But it seems to me like there's something that you're not seeing over here. There is something that you're not able, able to see. Maybe about this past. Maybe about some of your guides here because he's holding the flower this way. And there's something about your guides that you're not seeing. But you're focused a lot on your healing. The stars are looking at you. They're trying to guide you. The stars are definitely looking at you. They're trying to guide you in your healing. The stars can also mean your guides. Again, a lot of nighttime action for you, meaning that maybe at night you're waking up at night. And maybe this is when you are mostly connecting with yourself, mostly connecting with who you are and what you want to do. That there is a person looking at you as the nine of wands here. Maybe that's an ex-relationship. They feel a little bit burdened. 
they have they feel like they're beaten up something happened that they were beaten up maybe justice came in and you know maybe they got some some certain level of karma back at them yeah and it's breaking their back with the ten of wands here maybe there's they're feeling a, a, a small level of regret or a certain level of regret a big level of regret here because they're getting old when they look at you they get older you know when they look at their star they're getting very burdened very old so that old level that 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 old aspect usually comes to us like when you regret something and you get very wrinkly and very you know you'd be looking like that <laughs> so excuse me i'm laughing but maybe they they have a certain level of regret from leaving you because you're presenting yourself as the empress here you're presenting yourself in a very youthful energy i mean in comparison with the hermit this is not a right couple the empress would be great with them with um with the emperor here but they are when when they look at you it's like you won when they look at you they look at the star over here they look at your healing you know and they they see you as the empress they they're seeing you as very flourishing as very fertile having brilliant ideas my cancer <clears throat> excuse my voice we have the lovers in the upright, so there's a decision to be made, maybe a decision to call them, maybe to communicate with them once more. And this is definitely up to you, my darling, because this is something that came from the judgment from up, from from the up, like I always saying, like I'm always saying from the 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 council from upstairs. This judgment came in from upstairs. This breakup or this separation came from upstairs. So maybe you be be discern be, have discernment when when you want to know if you should call them or text them or write them back or something. Maybe focus more on your healing right here. Maybe focus more on yourself. That's the best thing that you can do, my Cancer. Listen to your guides. Try to listen to your guides as much as you can. You know, I feel like this this dog trying to bark here is trying to get you to get their attention. With the sun and the moon over here, there is some of your guides trying to get your attention. So maybe try your best to listen to your guides and what they want to tell you, my Cancer. Don't turn your back on your guides. Be careful that if you turn your back on your guides, maybe you might not receive the message that you want to receive, you know. All right, my Cancers, what else do I want to tell you? Again, with the lovers, it's a Gemini card, but it's also about making a decision. So be very, very careful if you want to make a decision. Please try to listen to both sides of the story or try to listen to, to, your, to both your sides, the right side and the left side. Excuse me, whether to know whether to go for it or not. This is from the Upright Council. This separation, this is clearly a separation that happened and that person is looking at you while you're, while you're separated. So this was coming from the heavens up, upstairs, yeah? Even a separation can come from the heavens. All right, my Cancer? So I'm not going to go for too long, my darlings. This is the reading for the third week of September. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you need a private reading, everything is in the description box below. All right, my Cancers. So again, no longer than 10 minutes for you, but I still hope you enjoyed it. And as I always say, see you when the sun rises. Bye, Cancers.